These are five awesome tools or brands you may not have ever heard before. I got some awesome tools to show you. If you want to check out any of the tools you see today, I'll put links in the description and at the pinned comment. Let's go. This is the Craig Routing Guide Set. This is a brand new tool from Craig, but this is one of those tools that I think is a game changer, especially if you don't have a router table. Now, a lot of times when you're making woodworking projects like cutting boards, charcuterie boards, or tabletops, things like that, you wanna put a round or a chamfered corner on them. This is an easy way to do it. Let me show you. So you can go all the way from a quarter inch radius, half inch and one inch, all the way to a two inch round radius on the corner. And then you get three chamfered type corners, half inch, one and two. I do wish there was a little more selection here between the half and the two inch chamfer corner, but you do have a nice selection of round corners, which most of us are gonna be using anyway. And you get this nice little case that'll actually keep these organized so you don't lose them. So you can keep them at the router table, in a shop drawer or anything like that. All you need is a flush trim bit or sometimes called a pattern bit. I really like this white side set. You can pick this up on Amazon. It has two flush trim bits, one with a bottom bearing, one with the top. And then you also get a, a roundover bit and a chamfer bit for the most common bits you're gonna use. And these are excellent bits. They're gonna last you a very long time. A lot of radius jigs like this are, well, you have to hold them uh, pretty close to the edge. Your hand's right, right here next to the uh, jig itself. This I like because it has a knob. It's gonna keep my hand away from it. And you can swap these out. You're going to use the same jig every time. And these just snap right into place securely too. Now we got a quarter inch radius. These also adjust. You can move these posts up to the next hole if you need to get closer to the edge. So on the long side, I don't need to adjust those posts because both of those are making contact. But on this short side, only one is, and that's going to give me not as much uh, grip as I want. So all you have to do is move this post. These are uh, threaded. You're going to move that down. And now that's gonna give me uh, two points of contact there, as well as two points here. That's a nice secure grip. Now all I have to do is pull back on this and then use my router to go around that edge. If you don't wanna hold it and you just wanna clamp it down, then a face clamp will work just perfect to hold these in place. I've got my router bit installed. This is that white side we just saw from the pack. And I'm just gonna use that top bearing to follow this. That's gonna give me that quarter inch radius right there on the corner. Man, that worked perfect, perfect. So what if we wanted a bigger radius? We're gonna throw a one inch in there. I'm just gonna hold it this time and see how that works. Oh man, hey, I like this. Oh man, the customer decided they don't want to round over on the edge, so now they want that chamfer. Just pull that out, pop the one inch chamfer in. Let's run this through. Now that's all right. To use this with the palm router or a trim router or just a regular router, you want to get that bearing that's closest to the router. In other words, that bearing will ride along the edge of the corner radius template. Now, if you're using it on the router table, obviously it would be the other way. You would use the bearing on the other end, like this one. Shiny. Next on the list are detail sanders. I actually did a full review on this little Rikon sander. This thing's about a hundred bucks, give or take, uh, about a couple weeks ago. And this thing is really nice, but there's also a competitor now. This came out like a week after I bought this one. So I picked this up. This is the Milwaukee M12 Fuel Orbital Detail Sander. Now it does have that triangle shape or home plate shape base on there. What that does is there's a 1.5 millimeter orbital sanding stroke. So it's going around, it's a fine detail sander. You're gonna be able to get a fine finish on there. They say a stain quality finish, which means you shouldn't have any of those circles in your finish. This thing comes with a ton of accessories too that I really, really like. If you'd like to see this one in action, there is a full video on that. I'll link it in the description below. This is a nice pickup for a hundred bucks, but they're two different tools, but they do do a similar operation. This has four speed settings, even though that the trigger is actually a variable speed trigger, which I really do appreciate. but you can limit the top speed just by choosing one, two, three, or four. So that last one was four, this one is one all the way. Two, three. So you can see that it just continues to go up in speed. Now what you get with this kit is the battery, the charger, and this tool, plus what you're getting is a sanding pad saver, which I would recommend using all the time. That'll keep that pad there from getting messed up. And then it also comes with a variety of sanding discs from 80 grit all the way up to 180, I believe, plus the contour pad 
That pad's gonna allow you to do edges and things like that. This is an excellent, excellent tool. You can also pick up extra sanding discs or pads, nets, whatever you wanna call them, uh, to go with this. I really like this tool for 100 bucks. This is a great little sander that you can do a whole bunch with. And there's really no alternative out there to something like this that's not multiple hundred dollars, like six, seven hundred bucks. So for 100 bucks, this is just a good value. The problem is trying to get into corners and things with this. While it's an amazing little sander, it takes off material really well. You can get different size grits too. I really, really love this. You can actually tell the difference in the build quality of this versus this, just the instant you pick it up, the way it feels, the way it sounds. You can even just hear this way, this kind of grinds when it's moving. It's kind of grinding noise. This doesn't make that. I make a lot of trades and things with the CNC, but just getting into uh, tight spaces, up in the corners of things when you're sanding, right along that edge, you can't do that with an orbital sander. I'm finding myself picking this up all the time where I would normally pick up the orbital sander for a fast sand, this is one of those that you're just gonna grab because it's one, it's cordless and it just works. I like that they include this contour pad with this because a lot of stuff I make or you make probably has roundovers, chamfers, things like that. And the last thing you want to do when you're sanding, especially when you're getting close to finishing, you don't wanna break those corners or cause a flat spot. This will, this will actually contour to that. Use a higher grit sandpaper here and the fact that this is variable speed by the trigger, I can use less or more pressure there. Using that sander to sand those corners, edges, it's gonna keep those round overs on there and not break it down. It's just a super useful, handy add-on that they throw in. Before we get to number three, if you wanna build awesome projects using easy to follow step-by-step -step woodworking plans, we have those available on our store, 731woodworks.com slash store. Check them out. If you use the code five new tools, we'll give you 20% off any order. That includes the already discounted plan bundles. Go check us out. Next on the list is a company you may not have heard of is called Trigjig. They make some really cool products. They're more premium products, similar to the Woodpeckers line. If you're not a fan of red or you just don't like Woodpeckers, check these out. Now Trigjig is made in Great Britain, but they ship to the United States for free. And just so you know, I have zero affiliation with them. I get nothing out of showing you this other than I just think they're very, very cool. This is probably one of my favorite smaller squares. It's a little bit bigger than the Woodpeckers. I actually like that it's a little bit bigger. This uh, has some unique features on it that you're not gonna see anywhere else. One, all of these are actually recessed on this side, so they're not gonna get wore off. So they're actually underneath. There's a little lip that runs around. You'll see this offset blade on the bottom. And what that's for is if you're laying out lines on a board, you can use one side, to, uh, this is 16ths on this side. You can see 15, 13, three, five, seven. So you know that this side is 16ths of an inch. And then if you flip that over, you can use this side to mark the one eighth. So you can actually lay out uh, lines in 16th inch increments. It also has a little 45 degree bevel. What that's great for is if you have boxes and things that have uh, roundovers or anything like that in the corner, you can actually use that and it won't interfere. I really like that feature. And of course, it's extremely accurate. It's very square, you don't have to worry about that. It's lightweight, it's all anodized aluminum and it's blue, it looks good. Next is the Trig Jig Angle Finder 4. I love this thing. This is my favorite angle finder uh, versus something similar to what you would say like a T-bevel, things like that. Sometimes, man, these things just seem like uh, I would set the angle and then it moves too easy. And this, of course, this is a cheaper one. This is super awesome. I love that it has the miter on that side and the single miter on this side it has a protractor up top. So you got 180, 0, 90, so we know that we're at perfect straight line. And then you can move that to whatever angle. So if you're setting angles uh, for furniture or build projects, anything like that, you have to go inside and get an angle. When you come back out, you can set your saw up exactly like it needs to be. This thing holds its position too, doesn't move. I really like that feature. It's kind of a, it's not so stiff you can't move it, but it's stiff enough that it holds the angle without worrying about it, unless you bump it, of course, but just on my normal everyday use, just getting the angle right, this thing is awesome. I just think they're very unique tools. They're very well made on par, equal to the Woodpecker's line. So if you know that line of quality of tools, you're getting the same thing here, equal quality. They're extremely nice. They do come at a cost, but they are very nice tools. And of course the pocket square also has all those little holes in there for layout lines, things like that. Next on the list is the jack clamp. This thing is uh, pretty cool. It's made in the USA. This was sent to me by jack clamp uh, quite a while ago. I've had this thing for a while. 
I uh, just never showed it on the channel. This thing is a clamp and a spreader and or a jack. It will jack or hold up to 300 pounds. It does have a lifetime warranty uh, from defects. And if you don't like it in the first 30 days, they'll actually give your money back. So you can try it without worrying about uh, if it's gonna be for you or not. This thing actually reverses. So right now I've got it in the hoist position. So it jacks it up. But if you flip this around, you can adjust this to give you more uh, clamping area. And then you have a traditional squeeze clamp. So it's kind of a, a jack, get it, jack of all trades. It both clamps as well as spreads. There are attachments for these things that will allow you to uh, clamp round stock. It's just a metal attachment that slides right onto this foot. And then there's also a spreader attachment. So if you're doing decking, things like that, it'll, it'll go between the decking. You can spread those out to get the equal spacing that you need. It's a very well-made clamp. Everything about it feels nice and robust. The metal is, is thick enough that it's not going to bend on you. And you can really feel how good this is made right here in the squeeze action. It just, there's no slop in it. It's just a really well-made clamp. One thing I find useful about this is it has this foot on there that you can attach and then it'll stand up on its own. What will that be good for if you've ever built furniture by yourself and you need something to be held up, especially up off your workbench? This is perfect for that. It's gonna be able to hold that in place while you drive screws or get your measurements and attachments, things like that. A couple of these in the shop are super handy to have. This is to clamp round stock. So if you're cutting dowels or pipe, things like that, this will slide right on there. Well, now you have a V for that pipe or that dowel to ride in. And then when you use the other end to clamp back down, going to sandwich that in there for the round stock. It's a really good idea. It's also worth noting that Jack Clamp is a small family-owned business right here in the USA, so they don't sell them on Amazon or anything like that. You have to buy them direct, but you are supporting a small family-owned business. Number five on the list is another Trig Jig product. I like to never got that out. It has some unique features on it that I gotta show you. This is a Trig Jig pocket square and it has some unique features that you're not gonna find on any other square that I've seen before. And it's those slotted holes marking the angles. Now, why are those slotted? Well, they're made specifically for a carpenter's pencil, which I really appreciate because you carpenters out there don't really get a lot of these unique features a lot of times. The woodworkers usually get uh, the features they want, which are like holes that are made for pencils. But the carpenter's pencil don't get enough love. But now you can mark these uh, lines like that, and then you can just use this as a pivot point. Pivot? Pivot! So for instance, if I needed to mark this 30 degree line, I can do that with my carpenter's pencil, and then I can use this as a pivot point. Pivot! And I can mark that 30 degree line there. It also has the round holes for pencils, just like you would if you needed to lay out parallel lines. And I like the fact that the end scale goes all the way to the bottom because now we can use this to set up router bits as well as blade heights and many other things that are useful in the shop. And it is a square, so you can use it just like you would a regular square. One of the hottest tools right now that you may not have heard of is a Dow Jig X. You gotta go check it out. I did a video, included that in a five tools under 30. Clicking that box gets you the big old virtual fist bump. Go watch that video to see what this unique jig can do.